we're all kind of looking for something. The whole country is yearning for something. I think we're sick and tired of the, of this, uh, of the greed and the shallowness of life. And you can remember uh, the sc- corporate scandals. Every day, every time you pick the paper up, it was, it was not Enron, WorldCom, Adelphia. It went on and on and on. It was a culture of greed and a culture of avarice and hubris. I spent my whole career on Wall Street. I used to be proud of that. And all of a sudden, I felt so embarrassed, like, what am I doing here? And uh, this caused me to write a book, Cowboy Ethics. It became a bestseller. What's so special about cowboys? Well, I can tell you it has nothing to do with a hat and boots. The cowboy seemed larger than life. He was something you could always count on, no matter what. You sense there really is something special about these folks. They seem to carry themselves with an authenticity, there's a, there's a directness, there's a humility, there's kind of a quiet confidence that really does set these folks apart. You sense a deep yearning for a simpler time, the time when you can count on people to keep their word, to honor the golden rule, and a time when a handshake was as good as any 30-page contract. Cowboys remind us of the values that built America. But at a time when it feels like the whole world is going downhill, the old rules no longer seem to apply. Cowboys point us back to basics, back to fundamental principles of right and wrong, and back to the idea that personal character, which resides within, not your job title, not your lifestyle, not your bank account, is personal character is the true measure of a person. Cowboys stand tall because they stand for something. Now what does that mean, they stand for something? It means they live by a code, the code of the West. This is not a history lesson, and nobody's trying to turn the clock back 150 years. This code of the West couldn't be more relevant to our lives today because it takes us back to core values like courage, honor, self-reliance, integrity. And the result was this book uh, called Cowboy Ethics, and what I call the 10 principles to live by. So the 10 principles are my take on the code of the West. Now, we don't have time to go through all 10, but I just want to take two or three. Live each day with courage. It doesn't say be brave. It doesn't say be courageous. It says live each day with courage. Always finish what you start. Cowboys, as you know, hated quitters. Remember, some things aren't for sale and know where to draw the line. We all know what that's about. There's a line out there somewhere and, and, and we need to educate kids about where that line is and we need to be conscious about it ourselves. It's not enough to have a code. What matters is living your code. And what counts is actions, not words, at a time when mainstream America is so caught up in material success, so fixated on material goods, the cowboy reminds us that the best things in life aren't things at all. And I, I in my heart, believe that this cowboy This cultural icon represents the best of America. And it's the courage, it's the optimism, it's the plain hard work that built this great country of ours. The thing is, being a cowboy in the job description, it's a way of life. I think these principles, these 10 principles can be meaningful uh, for anyone of any faith or, or, or background. And I like to think that these 10 principles will be as valid 100 years from now as you are today. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. And thank you.